gosh. There's the picture of happiness. Today's the day I have to sign the contract and say goodbye to the pub. Oh, it makes sense. I mean, come on, the place is a mess. Streaming about calling time when I woke up this morning. I'll never do that again. I kind of know what that feels like. I resented you when you threw me out of my own pub. But at least I ended it with something to show for it. Well, you've had the last laugh. I'm not laughing, Chaz. Come on, I'm actually trying to cheer you up. I'd rather you help work out what I'm going to do. That's exactly what I had to ask myself. You're going to have to do what I did, OK? Just pick yourself up and move on. And how do I do that? Well, you've two choices, I guess. You change your mind about signing and you fight for what's yours, or you take a new path. New path works for me. Well, a new path ain't always easy to find. The pub is what I know, and when I sign that contract, it's the end. Oh, come on, you've made new starts before. You turned up to this very village dressed as a nun, remember? If I told you back then you were going to end up owning your own pub, you'd have, you'd have laughed in my face, wouldn't you? Well, we've both moved on since then. And we've both had our ups and downs, haven't we, in that pub? I got banged up in jail. Hey, you and Cameron, those steamy little sessions in the cellar before we ended up nearly killing you and Debs in there. Well, thanks for reminding me. I'm just pointing out the wall pack ain't all happy memories. <laughs> you stabbed Diane in there. It was dark. I thought it was Emma Barton. I was ill, remember? Yeah, yeah. Worked for you in court, didn't it? Oh, you've got a weird way of trying to cheer me up. Babe, I'm just trying to remind you that we've both been hit with our troubles in that place, but we've always bounced back. So that is exactly what you're going to do now, lady. I hope so. You are. Or I'm going to come round and remind you that that is what you've got to do. That is a promise.